Hi, my name is Richard Price from High Tech Battery. Uh, today we're going to be working on a Pry Jazzy Select 6 mobility chair. A uh, customer has brought this in to us. He wants us to check the batteries and if need be, replace them. Uh, so the first thing you need to do when you're taking a look at the Jazzy is you're going to have to remove the seat. Uh, in order to do that, there's two connections. The first is going to connect the arm controller to the actual scooter. And the second is going to be this single lever here which when you pull it back will release the actual seat itself. Make sure you unplug this portion first before moving the lever and pushing the seat upwards. So after you've done that, you're going to get to the actual base of the scooter itself. All you have to do here is just go ahead and pull up and away the actual cover and that will expose both the batteries here. And just as you can see, your open terminals, everything's open to, to the view here, so you can make sure everything's nice and tight prior to checking the batteries. And we're going to go ahead and check them. Okay, so the first thing the customers requested that we do is test the batteries themselves to see if they're bad. Now, according to him, he's just purchased the chair, so it's already been sitting for an indefinite amount of time. So the first test we're going to do is check the voltage. To do that, you've got to expose each the positive and negative terminal of both batteries just by removing these plastic pieces and working them down the wire here. Once we do that here, we use our voltmeter and we set it to the 20 volt DC side. And we'll just touch positive to positive and negative to negative on the same battery. This battery is coming in at 0.13 volts. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to loosen up and remove these wires. Uh, everything on this particular Jazzy Select 6 model here is going to be 10 millimeter. We've already gone ahead with a uh, ratchet and a wrench here and we've gone through and loosened up all the connections prior to this. So we're just going to remove the wires here. Now I personally like to remove the wires from both batteries here, eliminate any possibility of shorting out while you're installing the batteries. So we'll do the first set here first. And make sure you do keep the hardware here because you're going to be reusing it. Okay, and then wires from the second set here. Okay, so now you can pull these away. As you can see, there's only two sets of wires here, clearly identified, so you can't mix them up. We're going to pull our batteries out. And I already have the replacement set here waiting, so we're going to go ahead and put those in. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and hook them back up. So this is, as you can see, this is pretty simple. Uh, it's going to be positive, it's going to be red. So red to red, black to black for each battery. So we're going to go ahead and hook the positive up here first. Just the way it came off. We're just going to make them hand tight here. Okay, so positive there. And we're going to hook up the second positive here. I like to hook up the positives here first to eliminate any possibility of the shorting on the frame itself. Just think it's a good idea in general whenever you're dealing with more than one set of wires. Alright, now we'll move on 
on to our negative here. And our very last negative. Okay, just double check, make sure everything's good. Put a positive, positive, negative to negative for wire one, positive, positive, negative to negative for wire two. And then you can go ahead and tighten everything down. So you don't need to go crazy when you tighten them down. Just give them a good wiggle there, make sure they can't move but you don't need to grind into the actual lead terminal. Let's see how much over here. Go ahead and put the red caps back on there. And you can move on to the negative. Okay, and you can put the covers back on here. Okay, and when you're done there, you can just put the cover back on. Just like so. And you've successfully replaced the batteries in your Jazzy scooter. So, just replace the cover here. Okay, we'll snap it in the back and you're all set.